Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hot Wheels Unleashed. In this episode, we'll be testing out all the pre-order DLC packs so you guys can see which one's good, which one isn't, and you can decide whether or not you want to get them. So we're going to start with the Street Beast pack, which has a shark bite vehicle and a tomb up. Then we're going to move over to the Hot Wheels armored truck in the beefed up pack, and then move on to the Baja Bone Shaker. After that, we'll test out the sports car pack with the GT Scorcher and the track manga. So let's get into the video and let's see how the cars handle on the track. Okay, so we've upgraded it to rare. It looks pretty cool, the shark bite. So let's see how it is on the track. DLC packs. These ones are from the pre-order edition. Oh no, okay, but it doesn't matter. It only has two boosts, individual boosts. You know, we can handle that. We like individual boosts. So these were like a pound 69 if you're from the UK. Okay, that's, honestly, that holds that drift quite nice, if I'm honest. It feels, not too light. Oh. Um, are we dead? Okay. So it, it likes to be very dramatic. Oh my. All right, so we're going to redo that just so you guys have a fair viewing because on extreme, I don't think I'm going to catch them. Take two. <laughs> so the car seems to like being very dramatic. And I guess that maybe because I think it has two big wheels and two short wheels or well, smaller wheels. So, I don't think it has the greatest stability here. It does handle quite nicely. It's quite stable in its drifts. Speed is quite balanced. We just need to make sure we stay off the walls here because if we hit the wall, I think we're dead. So, let's try and race as perfect as possible. I think if you can race perfectly, then you have no problem. What's first? Bad to the blade. Oh my, yeah, no, no, no. If you hit a wall, you're, it's over. This is not a car to use in competitive races because you're gonna get nervy. You're gonna hit the wall. Stuff like that is gonna happen. So I'd suggest maybe not using this in competitive races, but in fun races you're just messing about, sure use it. But it doesn't seem the most stable. The front is fine, you can hit the front of it, but it's when you hit the back. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. That's that, that is perfect demonstration. So we, we're really struggling here because I'm gonna try and get a top three for you guys to show you that it is still possible, even on extreme difficulty that you can do it we can't boost there because that would ruin us but yeah i'm going to show you that it's possible even on extreme difficulty to get a top three with this car okay that was fine that was fine we did go at it with speed if you got over speed that's when it's over but now it's okay overall i'd say the car is good though okay yeah the car is good it handles well it's got decent speed uh oh not again not again not again oh my god oh no 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 i don't think top three is possible okay yeah, it just bounces off walls. It's, <laughs> yeah, that's not useful. I, I, so far, I'm not thinking this pack is... Oh, I should have done that. Oh, that was okay. Um, that was okay. I think maybe it depends how you hit the wall. I kind of tried to steady it out and it was fine. So I think it's how you hit the wall. We got fourth place. It's how you hit the wall. Because I steadied it out those other two... Well, that one time. It seemed okay. But so far, I am not recommending this pack. I mean, get it if you want the looks. Because it does look very nice. And... It's an okay car, unless there's walls and you got them with speed. But let's test out the second one and see how it does. Now, in my opinion, this looks cooler of the two. It just the colors, I guess. I'm not sure. I just prefer it. But we got to test out if it's good. So let's get into the race. All right, here we go. Car looks very nice. The red and gold, I have to say, complement it very nicely. Oh, no. I just noticed it has a small boost bar. Only you don't even need a perfect for it then, okay? But... That's very strong boost. That was very strong boost. Oh my god. So a car just got taken out from the side of us. And then we nearly got taken out. Yeah, this is a good car. A good car. A good car already. From that first drift, I can tell whether or not it's a good car. I've done this track so many times that I can tell if the car is good. Just from that one drift. Because I can tell how easy it is to handle. But so far, this is looking like a decent car. That was nice. We're sitting in first. I think the garbage truck is here. What is it? Total Disposal, I think the name is. Come on, get inside of him. Yes, that was nice. Perfect. I think we just ruined his life as well. That was nice. So far, I'd say this is the much better car of the two. Handles a lot better. We haven't exactly smashed into a wall, so we can't really tell what that's like yet. But I don't think it's going to be as bad as the shark bite one. But this one is so much better. Wow, this is basically a usable car. I would I'd highly recommend this car. Shark bite, not in competitive. I'd recommend this in any, to be honest. Not too heavy, not too light. Again, same as the first one. Handles pretty nicely, drifts are good to hold. The boost is good. Yeah, I like the boost. I'm beginning to like boost bars more and more. I don't know why. I guess it's just those bigger drifts and you get more boost and it's just, it feels a lot nicer. 
I, oh, I, when I had the Camaro, that's a boost bar, and I didn't, oh no, I did enjoy the Camaro, I'm trying it first with this, I enjoyed the Camaro that had a boost bar, because I could control how much boost I wanted to use, but then I got used to individual boosts, and they seemed a lot stronger, however, some boost bars are actually pretty good, and they actually do have a lot of strength behind them, this one being an example of that, so I think this is going to get us a first place, yeah, this one's fine off walls, this one's fine, Dr everything about this one's fine, I'd recommend this one. So it has 5 speed, 1 braking power, 4 acceleration, max handling, it's a pretty good car. And here's the shark bite, 4 speed, 2 braking power, 5 acceleration, 5 handling. So I'd say it's a 50-50, this 2 map is definitely better than the shark bite. Shark bite does look cool, but if you want to use it as a main, I maybe would pass because there's a lot of cars similar to these. The bifocal, the new Gucci car, they're all similar to this Superman, they're all similar, so there's not really any need to have it. So we've just tested out the Street Beast, now we're moving on to the beefed up pack. Let's upgrade this into a rare, upgrade the Baja Bolt Shaker into a rare, let's get one of them tested out on the track. Alright, here we go, I'm already dreading using this, I just don't like big cars, they're never usable, they're not agile enough, they're not quick enough, they barely drift, but this may change my mind, let's find out. This drift is going to tell all. Uh, it's okay, it seems a bit slow, but I mean it is a very heavy car, so I would probably, I should have guessed that was going to happen, that Fiat's just killed himself. Hot Wheels High goal away. Yeah, I can already tell this is wanting to go to the outside, and because it's so heavy, the boost that you generate uses it all up to just try and get going. Like, look, I'll try and generate as much as possible here, but it's probably going to go to the outside. That one was okay, Hot Wheels High helped us. we we'll generate as much as possible, but look, we're barely going. Look, Cole is there. You could see the kick that he got from that boost that he used. This car is so heavy and slow. It's honestly pointless using. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It's that heavy, the boost just doesn't generate enough and you just don't get enough of it to keep going because it's just, it needs so much to get at a quick high speed that you end up using all the boost then they've generated boost and they're already gone and uh, it's just, it's too much hassle using these big heavy cars is too much hassle unless you're playing like mini games with friends or something like that I would probably recommend missing out on this pack The, the Baja car may change my mind maybe another 50 50 but we'll have to find out when we're using it this one yeah i, I would not recommend using this one at all <laughs> he hit the barricade we can't even catch him that says everything okay we, we caught the ram but you can see we're not going to gain any positions here look the boost they get it just sends them flying this car has just messed up if we finish ahead of him that's that's positive for me that's a positive, I think that was like 5th place or 4th because of the James Bond car we were ahead of. Alright, now we're on to the Baja Bone Shaker. Hopefully this can change my mind. Alright, here we go. This car looks nice. I'm not even going to lie, this car looks nice. So, this car has a lot to do though. Uh, we couldn't get perfect again, but that's fine. That's not too bad. This, You know what? This boost seems a lot stronger than the previous car. I think it was the armor truck, was it? Let's have a look. Yes, very strong boost. I'm happy it doesn't bounce off the walls like the shark bite. Oh my god, that was pain. We are sitting in second, I'm not gonna lie. This seems like a more usable heavy car. This seems like a car you can literally just be beefy with and, and gain positions by just smacking into people, stopping them, slowing them down. Like, look, that was a lot easier to handle. I'm not gonna lie, I, I genuinely think this is gonna be another 50 50 because this car is usable. This is the first heavy car I've actually enjoyed using. I don't think we're going to take Black Manta, that wasn't the greatest drift from myself. There we go, made up for it. Turbo charged, you can go away. Again, it is quite hard to keep it going because it generates boost not that well and obviously you need all of the boost. What, again? And obviously you need all of the boost just to make sure the car is quick enough to catch up with other cars. Like look, the other cars would have had so much more boost by now. We're sitting in fourth, and I think fourth will probably be the best we're gonna get. Maybe even fifth if we lose our position, because I think that's gonna happen. Just these cars are so heavy, the boost is never strong enough on rare common to keep them going and to carry them forwards. We're not really too bad though, but we're struggling just for a top three, and this is probably my most known track. And I do all my car reviews on just because of the drifts, the jumps. We may be able to get top three here actually, because he messed up. So, like some other cars, if you get a miracle, there's a top three. All right, statistics for it. You got two speed, five braking power, four acceleration, two handling. 
the armored truck two speed four braking power three acceleration one handling now my honest opinion on the beefed up pack if you don't care about having a big collection if you don't care about pre-order packs maybe miss it it's just it's not that good it, it's 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 a, over a pound in the uk and the cars you're not getting that much you're not missing out either because they're not that good they're just very heavy require too much attention too difficult to use if you want it for fun sure you can mess around with your friends and just bang them about but it's not that good and finally we have the sports car pack starting with the gt scorcher which we'll upgrade right now and the track manga which we'll also upgrade i think we'll probably start with the gt scorcher because i think the track manga looks better in my opinion so we'll leave this till last all right here we go upgrade it to rare i wish i could do it to legendary but i don't want to grind the racing season pass to where it feels like a chore because then i love playing the game it's fun i don't want to have to feel like i need to play wow that boost is strong i don't want to feel like i need to play it or i have to play it i want to play it so for now it's good and i want it to stay like that rather than me just feeling like i need to play it the, oh yeah, no, this car is already made up for, I don't even care, those two drifts, they're just so satisfying, so relaxing to do after you've used a heavy car. Genuinely, if you have the pack, if you have if you have all packs, get into the heavy cars, the beefy packs, and then get into the sports car pack. The difference, oh my god, it's so amazing, it's, it's, it's just almost soothing. Like, I could just easily do this race, talk to you guys, and win this on, legit, I could win this easy. Uh oh. Okay, I got scared that maybe it would bounce off, but no, we're fine. Who's still Superman second? Even Superman has nothing on us. Like, let, let me get to reviewing it properly. So, a lot lighter, obviously, which is good. It doesn't seem too light to the point where it's flimsy. We just hit a barricade, we're still miles ahead. The boost is very strong. I like the boost. Like I said, it's not flimsy. It can hold drifts well. You can see that it'll come off the wall, though. It'll just tap the wall. It won't bounce off retardedly, it won't bounce off stupidly. Now we have Superman coming up, but I don't think we'll lose on this. Final lap, we got this easy. I'm gonna boost around because we're gonna get more with it. Look, yeah, I can even boost into a wall and it's perfectly fine. This car is so good. But you can just tell the difference because if this was the heavier cars, if they had e even the individual boosts, the kickback you would receive when using the boost would not be this insane. Like you can tell how strong the boost is on this car. It just goes. So that's a very good car. That's that I would potentially have to say so far. Even the second car is going to be good. So this is probably the most worth it pack out of them all. I, I haven't even tested it on, but I just know. All right, here it is. Looks so cool. This, oh yeah, I, I love the look of this car. It's just so clean. The sharp edges, everything is so cool. Here we go. Yeah, saved. Hopefully saved the best till last because this car looks so nice. It's convertible. Oh, and then again, the R8 Spider was convertible. I thought it was going to be the first car that I've used as a convertible. The exhaust is on the front. That's cool. Okay. You can already tell this is similar to the GT Scorcher, was it? Was it a GT Scorcher? I'm not sure, actually. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This has strong boost. You can tell. Look, this is a, this is a good car. From the get-go, I know it's a good car. Usually, we can't take the Koenig's Egg. I know we're going to win the Koenig's Egg. We'll win this race. Easy. Easy. This is an easy race. We'll win against this Koenig's Egg. Yep. I didn't need to use boost there, I just did it. That was kind of a panic one, but that's fine. We'll win this race easy, look. Oh my god, if I do that part perfectly, I know a car's good. Koenig's Egg, this is going to be a battle though. It's going to be good for you guys to watch, actually. Because Koenig's Egg is difficult to beat. But this car, the boost on this car is something else. The, all the drifts are so nice as well. This feels similar to the Thanksgiving pack, the cars in that. All the cars in that are good, I'm not even going to lie. The BMW is something amazing. And some of the other two, the just I the one that looks clean, I forgot its name. The purpley bluish, the with just like the matte look with the long wheelbase, that car, that's probably the least favourite for me out of the three. But that doesn't mean it's not good. It's still a good car, just the other two have set the by very have set the bar very high because they're amazing cars. Look, the Kodak was ahead, now we've just gained so much. Oh my God, we've got miles ahead of him. I'll use boost around that corner as well, perfectly fine. Yeah, th this car has saved the pre-order packs for me. I'm not even going to lie. The first one is just a 50-50 straight. The second one is more like a 30% yes, 70% no, just if you want a collection, get them. The second one is good, the Baja one is okay. I don't know. I have to admit that the second one is okay, but out of these two, these save it. These are definitely the most worth it pack that you can buy from the pre-order bundle. 
Now obviously, this one has four speed, three braking power, four acceleration, and max handling. The GT Scorcher has five speed, four braking power, three acceleration, max handling. And I don't know which one's better. For me, I would probably just say track manga just because it looks nicer and I prefer it. This has to be the pack, which is worth it. The other two, they're just okay. If you want to get them, you can get them. They're not really anything special. These two are, you could definitely main these, but there we have it. All the cars from the pre-order bundle have been reviewed. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully it helped you out so you don't have to waste money and you don't end up liking the cars, especially Shark Bite. I know one of my viewers, you want this car and it bounces off the wall so much. You pretty just end up losing every race and just raging, leaving, quitting the game. But there we go. Now you know, it's okay. It bounces off the wall a lot. So it's not the best car to use in competitive races, but there we have it. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.